let's talk about psychoanalysis. More specifically, let's talk about humanistic psychoanalysis, which Eric Fromm mostly wrote about. Eric Fromm was a student of everyone's favorite, Sigmund Freud, but he quickly realized many flaws that Sigmund Freud had in his theories. So Eric Fromm has put in much effort into perfecting uh, and improving upon the ideas of Freud. And uh, Eric Fromm was also a part of the so-called Frankfurt School, and um, he had interacted with many prominent psychologists, psychoanalysts, and philosophers of the time. He was born in 1900, and he lived through the First World War and the Second World War. He was Jewish, so he had to leave before the Second World War started. So he moved to the United States and was able to continue his studies as an empirical scientist. And he interacted with many American philosophers, psychoanalysts, and the likes. He also worked in Central America with many scientists there as well. So he had a lot of practice and he had a lot of interactions with the most brilliant minds of the time. And he published a lot of great books. So he was largely inspired not only by Sigmund Freud, but by Karl Marx as well. So he wrote a book about both of them called Beyond the Chains of Illusion, which I highly recommend. It delves into works of Sigmund Freud and Karl Marx, and it kind of gives a little comparison, if you will, of both main contributions to our um, to the development of our world. And to me, it was very helpful to read Eric Fromm's perspective on Karl Marx and Sigmund Freud. And it helped lift off some of the stigma that is attached to Karl Marx and Sigmund Freud alike. So uh, now I'm reading uh, Eric Fromm's Anatomy of Human Destructiveness, which I started many years ago, but I never got to finish. So I'm reading it again now. And it is a large research work. He has put in many, many years into finishing this book. He worked with many scientists and not only psychoanalysts or psychologists or philosophers. He also worked with biologists and neuroscientists and he looked at a vast body of of research in different subject areas so it is a multidisciplinary work it looks at and i already mentioned this book in one of my other videos so i am planning on finishing this book and giving my own take on it Eric Fromm's take on psychoanalysis was that in order to help a person, you need to know them pretty well. So you need to study them and analyze them. And a person has to become more and more self-aware. So by conducting the more classic psychoanalytical sessions that now are known as the psychodynamic approach in psychology, uh, the psychoanalyst or psychologists gets data from the client, from the patient, and then with specific questions, they continue to try and uncover the subconscious mind, which Freud has put much effort into describing. And in many ways, many psychoanalysts and psychologists of the modern world agree with him. And his discovery or rather exploration of the subconscious mind has really contributed greatly to our understanding of the mind and the human psyche. So Eric Fromm suggests that we always uh, look into the subconscious and we connect how the past experiences and possible traumas have shaped the personality of an individual. But it goes above and beyond that, because for, for Sigmund Freud, uh, finding that one moment of trauma in the past was basically it. So he cared about reaching that catharsis, reaching that moment of epiphany where the patient goes, 
oh yeah, so this happened and this led to such and such consequences. And that was pretty much it for Freud. He was, um, he felt like that was the end of the process. And many of the Freudian students, like Carl Gustav Jung, for example, they believe that was not enough. They, they wanted to take it to the next level. So Eric Fromm as well, he didn't believe that after the catharsis, everything was over and the problem was solved. He believed that one has to continue working with the individual to seek out all of the different interlacing connections that may have been formed over the years that may lead to certain outcomes in an individual's life. Eric Fromm also considered society to play a major role in an individual's um, growth and progress. So he considered it to be very important for us to also change the circumstances and to change the way we interact with each other. So this is where the humanistic approach comes in. He believed that we together had to change in order for each individual to be completely healed, so to speak. And obviously I'm oversimplifying here. I'm hoping I'm not reducing it too much, but Eric Fromm's approach to psychoanalysis, humanistic psychoanalysis, has really helped me personally to help myself. I have been practicing um, psychoanalysis for, for some time, and it has really shown great results. Not only did I uncover some interesting truths about myself, I also noticed a change in my day-to-day -day interactions with the world. Not only with people, with the entire world, including nature. So I do encourage you to look into Eric Fromm's books. He has written many, and I can share some in the description below. Or you can contact me and I can share some books with you. Let's read more on psychoanalysis together and continue developing the thought.